Hi there, this is Liz and welcome to another Dollar Tree haul, mostly fall items. So first off, I picked up two of these pumpkin wreath forms. These are fairly large. And then I picked up another one of these white sunflower with the uh, cream colored pumpkin. You can never have enough of the fall florals from Dollar Tree. They come in really handy for crafting. And because they are from Dollar Tree, there's no worry about snipping them and using only parts. And then I picked up two of these mesh ribbons, the wide mesh ribbon. These are six inches wide by five yards in length. And they had these in yellow and brown as well. And then I picked up this gnome. This is metal. And I already had the other one, so I thought I would grab this one as well. These would be good for um, putting in planter pots. And also, if you are doing a wreath, these will be good for doing fall wreaths. And then I picked up two of these pumpkins. These are made of wood and they have a nice thickness to them. These are 2D, so they have the separator inside so that these two pumpkins do not touch each other, which makes it a little more attractive. They may have had different ones of these, but these are the two that I uh, have left. Now, even though it's still August, our Dollar Tree is very, very picked through in their fall selections. And then I picked up this rolling pin. They had these in different colors and different sayings on there and different color of handles. But this is the one I chose and these are just flat. These are not the rounded ones. And so I might actually just work on the back here and leave this front uh, the way it is for now. And then I picked up this board. So I have no immediate plans for this. I just thought that these kitchen conversions, the chart would come in handy. So I picked this up. Maybe I will do something with the back, but I will probably leave the front alone. And then I picked up two of these nice rectangular trays. These are a very nice silver and I think I will leave these for Christmas. When I go to the Dollar Tree to buy these, I always make sure to um, take the separator to protect it because these are actually quite nice. And then I picked up two of these cookie sheets. Now these I don't want to use for baking, these I want to use for crafting. I want to make some trays with these. And I thought these would be very nice. They're not overly big. So I will be using these for uh, crafting. And then I picked up two of these. I had some plans for these uh, table decorations. And I thought I'm going to uh, take these bees off because I wanted to use them without the bees. But I took this one and I tried to take them off and it took after a lot of twisting and pulling, I finally did get one off. So I got that one off, but it kind of left a bad mark right here. And so I don't want to take a chance that by taking every one of these off, I'm going to have a whole bunch of these markings on here. So I might just change my plans, use them anyway, but leave the bees on and just uh, change the color of these bees. So hopefully that will work out nice. And then I picked up one of these seahorses. I would like to do some coastal decor in the future. And I had seen these on Timu for $11. And so I got this one for $1.50. I think the ones on Timu and this one are exactly the same. And there's no way I was going to, to leave this one at the Dollar Tree. Um, if I could get it for $1.50 instead of $11 or $7.99 or whatever they are on Timu. So I picked this one up for a future coastal DIY. So that is my Dollar Tree haul for today. Thanks for watching.